Nancy Ruth Owens, aka the Real Zodiac Killer. It's April the 19th of 2023. To semi-sort of date this video, it's um, as of a week or two ago, uh, they claim there was a massive leak of information. Um, <clears throat> so, on April the 6th, I put out a video uh, and it gave details of um, the Zodiac ciphers, the, where you can find the proof, so on and so forth. So I thought with this video, I would go back to when I was a child. Uh, <clears throat> my dad had, and mom had moved to Clueston, Florida. My uncle Jimmy was worked for the Corps of Engineers and across the street from Jimmy uh, lived Sermon Dias Jr. Now Sermon Dias Jr. was the son of Sermon Dias Sr. who was the sheriff of Henry County. Sermon Dias Jr. <clears throat> had just been fired from U.S. Sugar. Apparently um, if I recall something about you know the violent behaviors, so whatever reason, whatever the reason was, U.S. Sugar had uh, had fired him. He had house payments, and so his father, Sermon Dye Senior, the sheriff of Henry County, hired him on as a deputy. So before I had even moved. Before we had even moved, it was uh, Christmas time. Um, his daughter and I share a birthday, March the 30th of 1962. She was having a birthday party. I was invited over. Um, we were in an RV camper. She had uh, gotten, opened up the door to the RV camper, and uh, I was unaware that we were not allowed to be doing this. So, Sermon Dice junior came in asked what we were doing she took off running towards the house and he asked me if my mom and dad if, if my dad or my no specifically it was my aunt aunt patty if my aunt patty ever had anything to say about him and i, I said yeah they say that um i think it was that you're not very smart, stupid. I mean, I was I was a kid at this time, seven years old, and that the only reason you got a job as a deputy was because your father was the sheriff of Henry County. That infuriated him, and before, um, uh, within minutes, I was molested by him. Um, one of the earliest things I learned about him was... was that he was very meticulous about leaving fingerprints. Um, so fast forward, uh, you know, fast forward, um, he began sharing me with other men in the neighborhood. Uh, this was, at this time, it was non-penetration. And I, he later, uh, he, we all went to the Presbyterian Church in, in, um, in Clewiston. He, the Dias family went, my aunt and uncle went, um, my mom and my grandmother, it was my grandmother who insisted that we have some, um, spend some time in the church. My father is an atheist and did not believe in going into the church. He, he just, um, so one time, it was, basically it was, a mandatory you have to go to church today because it's it's um i believe it was easter and uh, but don't hold me to that I, I'm, I'm not absolutely certain uh, it seems to me like it was around easter and i was in uh, there was a banyan there's a banyan tree it's, it's still there it's been there for decades um and as kids, we would always play around the banyan tree. And Sunday school was being called in. All my brothers had gone into 
for into the into the church for for Sunday school. I was heading there, and I was um, blocked off by Sermon Dice Jr., who, who had said, you know, he he had had me do a mission before, um, and he blocked my he blocked my path, and he said, Nancy, I've got another mission for you to do. And he said, and this time it's going to require you to bring one of your, have one of your brothers with you. When he was saying that, one of my brothers came out of the room where Sunday school was being taught, and I panicked. So I said, well, I don't want to use any of my brothers. Um, and he says, well, well, I don't know if I came up with a suggestion or, or if he said, you know, you need to come up with some uh, somebody else to, to do the mission with you. Either way, it was uh, next door to the church was the Allison family, Timmy Allison's family. Now, Timmy was, a, you know, like three years younger. And I, um, I want to say I, I was either 10 or 11 10 maybe 11 years old I'm not you know I'm not exactly sure um, so he said okay so we went next door knocked on the door entered the house sermon said we want to use your son for a mission and the father stood there and said no, no, that's not going to happen. And at some point, he picked up a shotgun. Um, Sermon calmed him down, and he said, "Just and the guy, the, the Mr. Allison was not putting the gun down." And Sermon said, "You know, just relax, put the gun down." And Allison put the, the gun down uh, against the wall. He leaned it against the wall. And Sermon said, well, you know, I need you to back away from the gun. I need, you know, so Allison went to the other side of the um, the room. And that's when Sermon died, shot, and killed him. I was ordered, you know, I, I want to skip over this part because, um, anyway. So... Timmy came out of the bedroom, and there was a, you know, um, there, uh, just, I recall a wooden toy and trying to come, you know, Timmy was crying, and, and I recall trying to, or, or Sermon had ordered me to try and calm him down, and I, and I tried to calm him down with the toy, but he wasn't having any of it. Um, Eventually, Sam Allison came in. He was one of the first ones. First ones in. Um, as at some point, I was taking Timmy out of the building. So during the before before after this shot, after after the shooting. Sermon had told me, look around and find something for you. You, you, take, you need to take something for you. And I looked around and I, you know, there wasn't anything. I mean, I, you know, you know I, I was a kid. I didn't, really didn't understand what was going on. And he, Sermon finally said, well, look, here, here's the jewelry box. And he opened it up and there was, you know, the little ballerina that goes around and, and the, the music that plays. And he closed it up and he handed it to me. And so it was one of the, it was something that I took from the building because I was told by Sermon Dias to do so. Didn't want it. I'm a kid. I have absolutely no interest in jewelry, you know. Um, later in life, I would always stare. I remember always staring at jewelry boxes um, like my grandmother's. Um, so I didn't want the jewelry box. So when I went back to the church, I went around to the back of the church, I dug in the dirt and I buried the jewelry box. Didn't want it. 
Um, so at some point, one of the Allisons came out and said, what's missing? Uh, there's a jewelry box missing. And so then I was, I, I went and I dug it up and I handed it to him. And I, and I think it was to sermon or, or what have you. So the result of all of this is this is when the, this is when Sermon Dias had to cover his ass and he, he said, um, he started raising an uproar saying that there was a, a killer in the community and we needed to find out who it was. Well, what he did was he kidnapped Timmy and drug him around for decades doing kills saying, okay, well, this is the one that, th that did it. That's the one that did it. This is the one that did it. The whole time not letting anybody, obviously not telling anybody it was he was the one responsible. Again, a county sheriff deputy, son of a sheriff. This is the, when the, I, I hesitate to use the word legend because legend is a, um, the, the kind of, the, you know, the connotation of it that is that legend is a good thing. Um, and myth, mythology, that's a Greek thing. That's, that's, you know, totally out of our realm of reality. The belief of a serial killer in the community started right then and there with the murder of the Allison family because of Sermon Dias Jr. And this is why to find out who the real Zodiac Killer was, it's never going to happen. And even now, I mean, who do you think the leak is? Figure it out. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not hard who the, who the real leak is here. And look at the timing. Q, yes, QT time is over, okay? I'm not driving this train. It's being driven but I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the conductor. Um, I'm just doing what I know is expected of me pertaining to um, the murders, the things, the events that happened in Henry County. And obviously there's a ton of, uh, I, I didn't know at the beginning, like in 2008, when my brother was running for president, that there were going to be, I would, I always knew there were people standing in the way, but I didn't know how high, how powerful these people were. You know, keep in mind I'm a small town girl. And Sermon Dyes was a small town, technically a, a, a small town boy. Now I became aware later with Bush and Clinton and, and Reagan and, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's when the myth, the whatever of a serial killer. And then what happened is Sermon would take me, Timmy Ellison, and he recruited another, another one. Um, I'll go ahead and I don't like saying their names, but I don't, you know, anyway, recruited another one um, who was 13 at the time. He had just moved into town. And then he took us on kills. I mean, as children, uh, even before we hit our teens, we, you know, we were ordered to kill this family and kill this family. Oh, these, this is the one who's the killer. No, that's the one who's the killer. Kill these people. Kill these people. And, you know, some of the one in particular kill we were ordered to do was right next to somebody who was getting it as basically as a, as a warning. And so what happened immediately after the, the killing at the church was my uncle, my non-biological aunt, specifically my aunt, who knew what was going on, who, who had 
practically given Sermodias permission for, for me to do missions, she ran away to the Catholic Church. And then here's the beauty of it. A week later, when Sermon Dias finds out that she's that they've left the church and, and joined the Catholic Church, he does the same thing, but he goes off to another church. Now, you're a deputy, you're the son of the sheriff. Shouldn't you be sticking around and finding out, you know, if finding out what really happened next door? What you did was you ran. You hauled ass. When 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 Patty and Jimmy left to the Catholic Church, he ran. And it wasn't too much longer before um, the Reverend uh, left as well, but he, he had begun an affair with a woman. So, you know, this is what I saw at this time. I, I was seeing a lot of things at a very early age. Abandonment, abandonment by Sermon Dias, who had set the whole thing up. Um, you know, just adults, you know, you're, you're a child and you're watching all of these adult, adults run, just scatter. So, um, and then again, as I said, you know, to, to have then Sermon Dias is, is killing people, killing people, killing people. Now, when the uh, the um, name Zodiac Killer really solidified was I was constantly being tossed out to Montreux to the, the Hispanics, uh, Chichi Rodriguez. You know, he what they tell you about Chichi, Wikipedia. You can't, you simply can't rely on Wikipedia. Um, so Reagan, something had happened. Um, the killing of a busload of people, uh, kids, white kids, the, the Spanish were kept on. And Reagan did an investigation. It was botched, botched immediately by Sermon Dice Jr. And so eight months later, when I was working for Anthony the Greek Toulouse, who who was mafia. Um, certain things had happened, and he, I think he was the one who initially wanted uh, Ronald Reagan assassinated. Um, but the thing is, is like within a very short period of time, uh, Bush Jr. came in to. Solidify it because Mark Chapman, aka John Hinckley Jr., who's been dead since the early 80s, was trying to back out. And so Bush came in to make sure that Hinckley didn't back out. Um, and after that, I remember being in the Trocadero Bar. Uh, George Jung owned the, the bar next to it. He had a small bar, I think it's a biker bar now. Um, I was there, and people start. Guys started coming around saying, "What's your what's your horoscope? You know, what's your horoscope?" And I just something told me just um, don't tell them what your horoscope is, you know, because I knew I knew obviously because of what I was witnessing in in Montura, um, what I was witnessing Sermon Dice doing. Yeah, you know, I think I said, I believe I said Taurus. That was my sign, and and who, the guy who was asking me, you know, went off. So anyway, um, that's how you have to ask yourself. Obviously, people are asking themselves, well, why haven't what what had happened is. Sermon Dias started blaming my father for these things. And my father left, and, and when my father left the community, you know, at, at, a, at some stage, he, my, Sermon Dias would say, no, well, I guess it's not Tom. I guess it's not Tom. No, it's not Tom. It never was Tom. So um, that was the... 
like I said, you can't, you just simply can't trust Wikipedia. Um, and they don't want you knowing that a lot of the things that happen happen because of Sermon Dice Jr. and, uh, and Sermon Dice Sr. Again, if you follow my videos, you know that Pablo Escobar did not start in Colombia. Um, so, so basically what I've tried to do here is explain that the okay so I've, I've just tried to explain explain this to you as best as I possibly can um, you know it's they're, they're, they did a lot of I was constantly being raped um, I, you know just my, my family was constantly being harassed being targeted my dad again initially was being pinpointed as the one who had done the Allison killing and he, he Sermon Dice kept kept telling Timmy you know kept, kept pushing that narrative um so you know I'll, you know again obviously he never said who, who had really done it so I was always ostracized um you know I didn't uh, starting before I even moved to the town I didn't um have a chance to to blend with the community make friends with the community and never, ever really, because of the things that were, were happening, never really felt part of that community. Um, so I, I hope I've explained it to you to some degree where, where it's understandable. Uh, again, there is a lot of proof. There's, there's tons of proof. Uh, you have the Perkins Coey who said, you know, the person who did the forged birth certificate, which which is me, okay, uh, first and second line of, of the, the the doctor form, and the person who wrote the John Bonet Ramsey letter, which is me, and the Zodiac ciphers. I mean, they they did Perkins Coey didn't connect the two, the the John Bonet Ramsey and and my brother's birth certificate. When I came out and said, "Yeah, yeah, um, you know, let's go over all of the things that happened. Let's let's start from the beginning of when I was a child and was molested by Sermon Dice Jr., was ordered to do kills by Sermon Dice Jr., was raped by Pablo Escobar when I was in the second grade. Um, yeah, let's 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 lay it all out. You know, uh, so not a problem." And that's when Perkin Coey's backed off and said, oh, oh, oh we're wrong about that. Um, you know, the John Bonet Ramsey and the birth certificate, no, they, they don't match it. And that's when whoever's running this operation um, said, okay, no, Perkin, Perkins Coey, you're done. You're done. And that's, see, that's what's happening, what they call this cancel culture, if you haven't figured it out. There is no cancel culture. It's whoever stands in the way of this evidence, these testimonies um, coming out, like Alex Jones, like Roger Stone, like Stu Webb, like Tom Hennigan. Um, I mean, I can go on and on and name, you know, people I've seen go down. People who, you know, like it or not, I see a lot of pe people sweating. Um, having the uh, can't walk into you people um, I see a lot of people sweating uh, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein that's it I see a lot of people sweating that Jeffrey Epstein the the list that still hasn't come out but um, there's obviously a, a lot of people on there so you, you can you can watch people and see who's who's saying, oh shit, you know, God, if that thing ever comes out, I'm done for. Can't help it. Like I said, um, 
I'm, I'm not driving this train. I'm not the conductor of this train. It is what it is. My history is, is, is there from, from the very beginning. Um, I mean, obviously there's a lot I haven't told. I mean, there's still uh, John Walsh, and I hate to do that, but you know, so at, at some point, I'll have to go over the kidnapping of Adam Walsh. Uh, and so many, um, John F. Kennedy Jr., Hoffa, uh, Pablo himself, Gorbachev, which was my kill. I worked to get that one done. I'm sure other people took credit. Um, Galan, that one was my kill. Absolutely no, uh, there was absolutely no orders, no, no guidance. It was just, you know, just something that happened. When I had been recruited, well, I was already recruited by Pablo, who had referred me to Galan, and um, I took the opportunity to assassinate Galan right then and there when he said he wanted to kill Americans. So. There was no pre, I don't care who, you know, Bush or Clinton or who, I don't care who comes up and says to you, well, that happened because I put the order out. There was n nobody on that one but me. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Uh, with Gorbachev, that was me working, 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 trying to make it happen. I, you know, some people had to help along the lines, along the way. Um, but ultimately, that was my, um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say mastermind because it was sloppy. It was very sloppy. But that was mine. That was my assassination. So, it, again, it's um, April the 19th of 2023. I hope this clarifies somewhat you know, all this information, because they tried to pinpoint it on my father, they tried to make connections between some events that either may or may not have happened in California, so that, because we were in California for a while when he, he was in the Air Force, um, it's Henry County's attempt to continuously throw off what they were behind what they did, their protection of sermon, um, protection of Pablo Escobar, and throw it off on somebody else, saying, you know, they're not, they, they didn't do this. Yes, yes, they did. This, this began when we moved to Clewiston. This began with Sermon Dice Jr. Um, Pablo Escobar would have not come to power had it not been for Sermon Dice Jr. and Sermon Dice Sr. That has fortunately been proven in um, the federal courts in Fort Lauderdale. So, you know, I, I hope this clarifies as best I can um, how the, again, I don't want to say legend, but, um, but how, how the legend of the Zodiac Killer came, up, came about. Why you'll never find the, Zodiac killer because you're looking for a man. They've told you it's a man. You're looking in California. You're looking at a, a different time period, 1960, where they've fabricated their evidence to try and, you know, but as in my last video, there is evidence. There's, there's tons of evidence. It's, and so anyway, um, I can go on and on. But it is, uh, again, April the 19th of 2023. My name is Nancy Ruth Owens. I am the Zodiac Killer uh, with several other names like Bloody Mary. Um, either Revy or I, I'm not sure which one of us. One of us is the Kaleidoscope. I'm not sure which one. I, I don't recall. But um, anyway, y'all have a good day.